clinically, acute myeloid leukemia characterized by the same picture of the acute lymphoblastic leukemia, marrow failure due to malignant and the tissue infiltration, the malignant cells leave the bone marrow, go to the blood, and then from the blood to the organs, lymphadenopathy, as we mentioned, lymphadenopathy. Enlargement of lymph nodes. CNS leukemia is not usually occur in AML. So this is very important. In the acute lymphoblastic leukemia, CNS occurs. CNS leukemia is okay. Special type of the AML is M3. M3 variants. We can see a characteristic disease called disseminated intravascular coagulopathy disseminated intravascular coagulopathy stimulation of the coagulation stimulation of the fibrinolytic with bleedings and purpura purpura due to consumption of the platelets, extensive bleeding, bruising, and mucosal bleeding gum. This is DIC and the M3 and M3 variants. In M4, M5, soft tissue infiltration, gum hypertrophy, we can see here, lymph and obesity, infiltration of the kidney with renal failure renal failure need dialysis m7 it's called acute mega cardioblastic leukemia leading to marrow fibrosis so it is acute myeloid fibrosis no splenomegaly poor marrow mega cardioblast uh, uh, it enter in differential it enters in the differential, differential diagnosis with myeloid fibrosis with myeloid metaplasia, it is another condition different from M7. We will speak later on the myelofibrosis. Later on. So acute myeloid leukemia, different specific clinical feature, DIC in M3, tissue infiltration in M4, M5, myelofibrosis in M3. Seven. Diagnosis of AML more or less similar to the diagnosis of ALL. CBC complete blood count. We will find leukocytosis, hemoglobin low, platelet is low, thrombocytopenia, peripheral blood, myeloblast, or other cells according to FAB subtypes. Our roots in the diagnostic plus of the AML. Myeloplast with maturation. Fagot and M3, classic M3. Bone marrow aspiration is essential to confirm the diagnosis. Hypercellular infiltrated by malignant cells, myeloplast or polymyelocytes or monoplasts. Megacaryoplast, erythroplast, normal cells are depressed due to poor marrow failure. Cytochemistry to confirm the diagnosis of the myeloid. The myeloid characterized by the granules and our roots. So we have different cytochemistry, cytochemical stains like myeloproxidase, sudan plaque, and specific strays to diagnose myeloid series, non-specific strays to diagnose monocytic series, double strays to diagnose uh, M4, yeah. immunophenotyping, immunological marker or cluster of differentiation marker to diagnose uh, subtypes of acute myeloid leukemia like CD41 and M7, glycophrin A and M6, and uh, monocytic markers in the M4, M5, and myeloid markers in M1, M2, M3. Chromosomal studies. Sometimes, some types of leukemias are diagnosed by chromosomal studies. We can diagnose acute leukemia by 
plus cells less than 20% if we find a specific chromosomal abnormality. For example, in translocation 15-17 in M3 and the translocation 8-21 in M2 and the translocation 9-11 or 11-19 or abnormalities in the 11 like deletion 11Q in M4 M4 is this is a special type of M4 characterized by inversion of the chromosome 16 or deletion of part of chromosome 16 or translocation between short arm and long arm of chromosome 16 what's called translocation 16-16 Acute myeloid leukemias Acute myeloid leukemia Can we find congenital leukemias? Baby born with leukemia? Yes AML is a type often found particularly M7 the prognosis or outcome extremely poor.